The question I have is, what are residual and transported soils? Let's briefly talk about what type of soil currently exists on a given site. The soil on a given site belongs to either one of the two groups, soil remaining in its original place of formation or soil transported from other places. This type of soil is called the residual soil, whereas this is called the transported soil. And here, usually the particle size increases with depth on a given site. As seen in this picture, a slope on a residual soil is able to stand at an angle of 60 degrees. This is very steep. Generally, the behavior is very different from that of transported soils. Coming over here to the transported soil group, the transported soil is classified into several groups, depending on their mode of transportation and deposition. So these are the uh, transported soil types. Glacial, alluvial, lacustrine, marine, alien, and colluvial soils. Glacial soils are transported and deposited by glaciers. Alluvial soils are transported by running water and deposited along streams. Locustrine soils deposited in quiet lakes. Marine soils are deposited in the seas. Alien soils transported and deposited by wind. Colluvial soils are transported by gravity, such as during landslides. So now we know a little bit about residual soils and transported soil. Residual soils are soils remaining in its original place of formation whereas transported soil came from other places.